This one homework problem that I assigned in statistics class is a popular one. Many students are emailing me about this, so I do want to go over it with you. So, um, Jessica and Nicole, you guys are trying this. I know all of you are doing this, but so I, I guess it looks like you guys can use this help me solve this, but you're saying that the method that they are using is it's taking too long. All right, let's see what I can do for you. I'm going to click on similar question to get a brand new problem, but a similar one. And I'll try to do this myself here. In a large section of a statistics class, the points for the final exam are normally distributed. The mean of 68, as soon as I see that, guess what I'm going to turn on? I'm going to start the stat crunch because of the word normally distributed. I'm going to use normal calculator. Stat, calculator, normal. Open it. And then I will type in the mean they gave me. The mean they gave me is 68. All right, let me bring it up. And the standard deviation, is that right? That is so low. Oh, they said the final exam has an average of 68. I'm worried. Well, the standard deviation is 9. Okay. And what do they want? They said grades are assigned such that the top 10% receive A. So guess what? Let me go ahead and find out what you need to get to get an A in this test. You want to be in the top 10%. So see if this makes sense. I'm going to figure out, I'm going to go ahead and graph it or set up the curve so that I'm looking for, um, I'm looking at the right tail, which means I want to look at the top 10%. And 10% in decimal is 0 0.10, right? So this is how I entered it. I hope you can see it. Mean is 68 and my problem, standard deviation is 9. Yours may be different. But if I want to find the top 10%, I'm going to set up my normal calculator this way. I left this blank next to this inequality. But inequality is saying greater than or equal to. Or I guess if you want to think about it other way, you want to be higher than, you want to be at or at higher than the 90th percentile. So I guess you can change this to less than or equal to and change it to 0.90. But you're going to get the same answer. But I'm just going to keep it as I want to be in the top 10%. So if I type this in and if I hit compute, you will get the answer in this box. I'm going to go ahead and hit compute. The answer is 79.5. Round it up to be safe. I will try to go for an 80 on this test to get an A on this final. 80, round it up. And as you can see in this chart, the right tail is highlighted. If you are in this red region, you are going to get an A in this class. So the answer is 80. 80, check answer. Next part, the lowest score that will qualify for a student for a, for a B. Um, they said, let me read this part. I have to know what's going on. Top 10% receive A. Next, 20% receive B. So listen, um, to get a B, you need to be in the... What I'm doing is this. I'm going to add 10% plus 20%. Okay, so if you are higher than or if you are in the top 30%, um, you're going to get a B, right? So top or, oh, 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 that didn't sound right. How about this? If you are at the 70th percentile, if you did better than 70% of the people, then you're going to get a B. So what I will do is I will still do top 30%. So keep everything the same. I'll get rid of this number. But I will say instead of being in the top 10%, I just want to be in the top 30% this time to B. And you see how I got 30%, right? 10% for the A, 20% for the B. I added them. That's how I got 30%. And I hit the compute. To get a B, I need at least round it up to 73. I will try to go for a 73 if I want a B in this class. So the answer is 73. 73, check answer. What's next? Um, C, they said the middle 40% receive C. Oh, well, now that's confusing me. Middle 40%. Okay, hold on a second. I may need to organize my thought a little bit. 
maybe. Hey, hold on. I have an iPad that I can try to write. Give me one second. I have to go teach my Friday statistics class in, in about an hour, so I should probably finish this up quickly. Right, give me one second. I'll try to... Nine eight seven seven. I thought this was gonna be a quick one. All right, you see my screen? Okay. So I'll try to sketch this curve, curve, curve. So what we have is top ten percent getting an A, and um, what? People in this region will get B, but these were the people who had 20%, um, right? The next 20% received B, and they said the middle 40% received C. So if I have middle 40%, 40 in the middle, that means I have 30% to the right of it and 30% to the left of it, right? The middle 40%, they get C. Um. I, if 40 is in the middle, 40 plus 30 plus 30, wouldn't that be 100 together, right? So, um, I will say what, if this is 30 right here, sometimes I confuse myself. Um, if this is 40% right there, 30 plus, oh, I'm sorry, you could not see my, my writing. 30 plus 40 is 70, right? So this is going to be at the, I'm gonna have 70% in the top. So, hey, in, in other word, if you are better than 30% of the people who took this test, you're going to get a C. That's a very low standard, don't you think? Hey. But anyways, if you are better than top 30, per, if you are better than 30% of the people who took this exam, you're going to get a C. So I'll go back here, open up my stack crunch, and in fact, it's this time, let me try to do this way. I'll say less than or equal to 30%. So this person has 30% to the left of it. So if you get, I just want to hit the compute button myself. If you get 63 on this test, um, I don't know if, can I round up or round down 63? I'm getting a little confused here. So should I round up or round down? Hey, how about I just go with, 0.70. Well, it's the same answer. So I'll take my chance and I'll round down and I say 63. If you get 63 on this exam, you'll get a C. 63 or higher, you can get a C. And if it, if they say I'm wrong, I'll just round up to 64, okay? Okay, they said I'm wrong. So guess what? Next answer, I'll just type in 64. Hey, well done. That's good. All right, I, I hope this is last one. So to get a D, um, the next 20% receive D. So it, this is just the way they are giving me these number was confusing. So um, now listen, but though, what's below D? F, right? The bottom 10% receive F. So that means if you did better than 10%, you're going to get a D, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and just change this to if you did higher than the bottom 10%, you're going to get a D. So if your grade is 56.466, or I learned my lesson from my previous one, I better round up no matter what. So if my grade is 57, I will get a D. 57. 57. And check enter. And that was it. This is how I would do this, and it took me 10 minutes to do it. So if this method is shorter than how you guys did this using help me solve this, I want, I guess I, I will suggest you to use this normal calculator on StatCrunch. I'm going to go ahead and process this video, and I will send it out to you guys, okay?